One automobile that is highly prized by knowledgeable collectors, but almost unknown by anyone else, is the Pierce Silver Arrow. The Pierce Silver Arrow was basically a, a, a car way ahead of its time. It uh, had styling features and design features that were probably 10 years ahead of its time, especially in its aerodynamic form. When a young designer, Phil Wright, couldn't convince General Motors to build his daring new car, he took his designs to Pierce Arrow. Pierce Arrow was a manufacturer of fine but not too daring motor cars. They were nearly wiped out by the Depression and desperately needed something to stimulate sales. They decided to try Wright's design. Well, Pierce Arrow was on its last legs anyway and couldn't really, this was in 32, couldn't really go anywhere but up, they thought. Wright was told to have the first Silver Arrow ready for the 1933 New York Auto Show. He didn't have much time. I, I'm not clear. I think it was either five or eight weeks they had to build the first one. And as they were building it, the design kept changing. Wright and the engineers battled over how long the car should be, whether it should be a two-door or a four-door, and hundreds of other details but they made their deadline. An exhausted team shipped the first Silver Arrow to New York on New Year's Day. Three more were soon shipped to the auto show in Boston, and the last Silver Arrow was shipped to Chicago, where it was displayed at the World's Fair Century of Progress Exposition. The car's streamlined shape and sumptuous interiors stunned the public. It was very far ahead of its time, and, and uh, I'm sure that, it, that people who saw it uh, recognized it for being uh, just overwhelmingly uh, impressive as a, as a car of the future. After making the rounds on the show circuit, the cars were sold for $10,000 each, about double what a standard Pierce Arrow cost. The original buyers should have hung on to those cars. Today, they are worth more than a million dollars. But it was a great car then. It was a great car when it was produced in 1933, and it's considered one of the world's great cars today. It's still gonna be always considered like a Mona Lisa of the automotive world.